Hey guys, it's Christy the Homesteader Wannabe, and I'm very late, but I am going to start some seeds, and I ordered seeds, and I don't even remember what I got, so I'm going to look in here. I know I got Abe Lincolns. I want to plant some Abe Lincolns. Cabbage. I'm not going to show you all everything. I'm just looking through it and seeing if there's anything here. I don't remember. Oh, yeah. I They had a thing going on where you get a free lavender plant, a free Amish paste, and a free something else. Might have been that cabbage. So, okay, I'm going to plant two of these, Abe Lincoln's, I'll do catnip and the flowers maybe if next week. I got some really nice stuff. I'm going to plant, I don't know how many of these, I really love orange bell peppers. And some. Uh, this is something else I got free. They got three free things if you ordered a certain amount. And of course I ordered more than that certain amount. Aren't these beautiful? I love snapdragons. Oh, I know when I, I ordered these mainly because I wanted more corn varieties. I'm going to plant a lot more corn this year. So, basically, I ordered lots of corn. The only thing I ordered that was tomato was the berries, crazy cherry tomatoes. I'm going to plant those today. And I got some radishes and lots of cabbage. Like bok choy type cabbage. But that's not mainly what I'm going to plant today is um, peppers and tomatoes. And I may do this next week. It's going to be, um, we're starting to get into it where it's, you know, pretty days in the forecast every week, but not all week. I wanted to show you today the easiest, and I, I think it's cheap, um, way of planting because there's not a lot of waste. And, um, you know, if you want to get good potting soil, it's very expensive. So I got these when I got my eye harvest and if you see that the roots grow through it so when you're ready to up pot you just put the whole plug in the pot and they stay pretty moist you don't have to worry about watering them as much and so when I planted for the eye harvest these were just the most easiest things I ever had plus if uh, something doesn't come up it has a little hole in it and you just uh throw another seed in it. I don't want to waste seeds. I, I don't do that. I uh, probably should because I had such poor germination last year. And if I were to put maybe two or three in, but it is what it is. And I'm really, really behind. I really thought I was going to plant this stuff the first week in February. So life events and stuff happen. I am planting for future happiness because right now I don't care. I'm so happy to be out here. This is like my therapy uh, in the sun and the warm coming down on me and stuff is really helpful. But I just, you know, I'm not even thinking about the garden right now, but I know that if I don't plant stuff right now, uh, I'm just gonna say it, my, my son passed away. Um, I can't talk about it. So um, anyway, I'm planning for future happiness, so that's what I'm doing. I'm going to show you, um, I am so sorry. I don't like doing this. I don't like making people sad, and, um, I actually don't want to be sad either, so. <sighs> All right, these are my favorite trays. They're windowsill trays. If I had to do it again, I would not get the holes. I would get the, um, bottom without the holes. So I'm probably, I can fit 33 of these plugs in here. I have to get a piece of paper because I've got to show you my crazy method that works for uh, people with ADHD or maybe regular people. I don't know. So I'll be right back. All right. This is where I have been writing what I wanted to buy and what I want to 
plant. So let me get a clean sheet. I will show you how I do it. Uh, you cannot put tags, you know, in these little sponges. They are, I'm trying to see if they're hydroponic rip, rapid rooter plant. Rapid Rooter Plant Starter is a unique starter plug based on peat, based of peat moss. The air to water ratio within the plug make, promotes root growth. Vigorous roots make stronger plants. For best results, soak plugs in water or mild nutrient solution to rehydrate. I'm not gonna do that. These are very wet. I mean, if you look in the bag, they're wet. I don't need to do that. Um, now if I was, um, putting these in hydroponics, I, I rinse them underwater and squeeze them because, uh, the lady I watch how to grow your homestead with Angie, I believe that's her name. She does that because the water turns so brown with these, if you don't, the water in your hydroponics. So, soak plugs in water or mild nutrient solution to rehydrate. Place seed or cutting in center hole of plug. Keep about a quarter inch of water on bottom of tray to maintain plug moisture. When roots appear, plugs are ready to be transplanted. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I already have a bag open. And what I do is I buy these slow cooker, flex fit, doesn't have to be flex fit, slow cooker bags. These I found to work the absolute best. They fit it really, oh, I'm going to have to buy some. But I'm not going to plant that 33 today. Now I'm going to move you down and show you how I'm going to do this. So I just put it like, obviously like this. And when I get done planting, I just take this and it makes the dome and you can use like a uh, chip clip or something like that if, but i find that it stays closed enough here's what they look like and right there's the hole i'm just going to start getting what i want to plant out and i'll put it in and what i do is i write since this will be three wide i put and then I'll just write down what's in the plug. So this is a brandy wine from Renee's Garden. Brandy wine is my favorite slicer tomato. And I just take the pin and I push it down in there. And I have to write it down immediately. I will never remember. And I'll just put that there. Here's the sun gold. I love sun golds. I planted them last year. I wasted a bunch. I mean, that's how many. And it went all the way to frost. Um, it was the first to give me fruit, which is what I really like about these. You get fruit first with the little ones. And you're just so excited to get some fresh tomato tasting tomatoes. They don't taste like the store. I definitely don't need more than one of each of these. I am going to focus mostly on the uh, Amish paste and the Abe Lincolns because I like a paste tomato. I'm not crazy about the gel and the seeds. And the next one is the um, Dr. Witchies. I'm only going to do one of these also. I'm just going to put Dr. W. I don't know exactly what that is. I really didn't have a good luck with these last year because they were where the water pulled. So I really want to try these. So I'm going to plant one. And these do need a little bit of water. These are the ones I got back at the end of October. 
with the hydroponics kit. And then if you do do this, you have to make sure that you know which end is where you start. So I'll have to put like something on there. Like I'll put like a um, post-it note or something like that. So I guess I'm planting two brandy blinds. I don't know why I did that, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it because I already started it. And that's a different company. I think I had more luck with the Renee's Garden last year than the um, Baker Creek. That one big rainbow. These are my mom. She liked these the best. Um, the reason I'm growing Kellogg's breakfast this year is uh, last year, same thing as the German pinks. They were in a bad spot. I didn't really get one regular tomato. I did get to try a really little one, but it was stunted and, you know... You can't really tell what it was, so. I have these growing in my hydroponics, but I want to grow them outside too. It's a mini bell mix. They look beautiful. I did plant one seed last year, and it was towards the middle of the summer, and I did not get anything off them. I didn't give it time, but I was so excited about them. I went ahead and planted it anyway. Advarsky? I've heard other people say it, but anyway, they look so good on Whispering Willow Farm that I was like, I have to try them. I love peppers. I, I love them, but I always have them late, come in late. And last year, they were in the ground. They didn't do very well, but every time I've planted peppers in pots, I've had way better luck. So I'm thinking... The raised beds are going to be where the peppers are this year. And hopefully deer won't mess with them. But our deers are wild. They mess with just about everything. I have two different kinds of peppers. These were really, really good last year. Uh, like I said, they didn't do... I only got maybe three or four peppers off of them. And I'll plant a couple of these at least. I planted two last year, but then I have the other ones so that I just bought. I'll plant two of these. I don't know why orange peppers taste better than green peppers and red peppers to me, but I just love them. I can eat them raw. I can put them in stuff. Usually I just eat them raw. Maybe a little dressing, but I can eat them without dressing. And I always like, like I put RG here because these are Renee's Gardens Orange Bell. And then I'll see which ones do better between them and Hager Creek. Then when I want to order more, I know which ones I like better. Okay, I had some luck with these, even though they were in the ground. But not as much as I think I would otherwise. But they were good. I liked them. I didn't love them. But I didn't not like them. But like I said, I, the stuff that I tried last year, it was just tough. And so I'd like to give them better chances somewhere else. And then I will decide if I don't like them this year or don't love them this year, they won't have a place. Yeah, these are still damp though, from all that time, but not damp enough. Okay, habanadas. I didn't get any um, germination last year on habanaba, haba, habanadas. So, I really, really want germination this year. Oh, Poblano, I had a few of these last year, but none of them really turned out. They were very late in the season. Uh, after the sun really started, like, set too early to give them a lot of chance. So, I'll plant one of those. I gotta get back in that bag and find my eight Lincolns. Okay, two of these will be. So I'd like four tomato plants of paste tomatoes. 
I'm going to do two of these and two of Abe Lincoln's. I don't know why I did that. That makes it very hard. I have three seeds in my hand, so I may just do three. So I got it already in my hand. Here's the Abe Lincolns. I'm so excited about these. I'm going to plant two of these. Hopefully they won't blow out of my hand. They're very not big. Watch out, girl. Cannot see. We got these other peppers. The orange bells from the Baker Creeks. I'm going to do two of these. I only have one more in this bag of the rabbit rooters. Now these are much wetter. So I'm going to do two of those. I'm almost done for the day. I'd like to do some flowers next week, I think. I have two more plants here. The next one is, uh, I had zero luck. This didn't grow more than an inch last year. Oh, let me try again. All right. Pizza, my heart. And the last one I'm planting today is the Berry's Crazy Cherry. I, I wish I would've got grape, but I didn't see it. So I just got the cherry. Uh, I like grape tomatoes better than cherry tomatoes, but I might end up loving these more than any tomato. Who knows? Crazy cherry. All right. So this is what it looks like. I should have probably done that better. Uh oh. I will go in the house. Some water in this. Let me get this camera down. I'll put some water in this, and then, like I said, I will take it like this. I mean, it's, it's so easy. You set it in the windowsill, and it gets tons of sun up here on top of the mountain. I don't need lights or anything. If you don't have, if you have really sunny windows this time of year, you can do this. You do not need lights, heat maps, and stuff like that. I do move them out of the windows in the evening because sometimes we get really chilly evenings and our windows are not insulated great. So that's all I'm going to do today. I don't know what I'm going to plant next week. I know I'm going to plant stuff next week, but I'll figure it out in a few days. So anyway, hopefully this helps you um, think of different ways if you don't want to spend a lot of money on trays and sales and all that stuff and lights. And... Just easy, easy. But we'll see how it goes. You know, I might not plant these and they all die. I don't know. So it'll be fun to watch. So I'll see you later. Bye.